Morning, just above the Tani Grisu Reservoir, which sits above Blanifest and Yog. And in front of us, got the mold winds. I'll just uh, show you what I can see up there in the mist. Maldon Range. Half a dozen ranges in Snowdonia. A little bit quieter over here. And we're going to have a short hike up to see an abandoned village. It's been uh, sitting abandoned since the 1940s. So, uh, yeah, see you later. going basically and the way we get there is through the little little hamlet over there there's sky she's uh, got a, a cape on the rain is coming down so okay we're gonna crack on with the uh, the little hike then and uh, see what we can find up in the hanging valley see how much of this uh, abandoned village is left so see you in a bit What a hidden gem, beautiful cascade waterfall. The video probably isn't doing it justice, but I must be 40 foot high that. Wonderful, beautiful. But it's in spate. It's been raining for days. Beautiful. Okay, we've made the, uh, the Hanging Valley. There's lots of uh, strewn slate on the workings that used to be here. I guess that's why the village was here in the first place. Before the, the bottom fell out of slate after the First World War and everybody moved away. There's the little river. Supplies the waterfall further down the mountain. We're going to go in that direction. We're going to find and see what we can see in terms of any abandoned houses or maybe a chapel. Let's see. See you in a bit. Here we have Camorthin Terrace, built by the quarry owners, part of the abandoned village in 1860, I believe. Wow. As you pan along, you're getting more and more in disrepair. Wow. Really cool. Imagine living up here, it'd be amazing, wouldn't it?
In the winter though, it'd be awful. <laughs> Not for me in the winter, but in the summer, beautiful. See you in a bit. Oh, in the back gardens now, or would have been the back garden or the backyard. Uh, there's number one, there's number two. And this would have been the uh, the privy, the outside toilet. So, uh, it'd be a privy and a bit of a, like a, like a scullery for doing cleaning of clothes and whatnot. And each one's got two bays. Wow, uh, tell some tales. is uh, Rossid Terrace, built in 1865. One, two, three, four, five, six or seven dwellings. Uh, made of stone. Wow, and this is the very head of the, uh, of the Hanging Valley of the Coombe. From here on, in that direction, you have to start climbing up then towards the, uh, the ridge line of the Moldwin Range. Wow, it's as far as we're going to go today. I'm going to return now down to uh, Line of Estiniog. It's been really fascinating looking around these old ruins. And on uh, a wet, misty day like today, really atmospheric. I really enjoyed the walk. See you later. Standing in the back gardens, what's left of them? Wow. You see the hearth, can't you? There, really, really eerie. Give you a little bit of a panorama of the uh, head of the comb. Wow. Uh, 
to where we started. Elevation wise, we're about uh, 1100, 1150 feet. Um, and on the western uh, flanks of the Moldwins, which uh, continue ahead of me all the way over the top towards Beg Alert. Beautiful, really enjoyed it. Okay, then I will leave it there and I will catch up with you down the bottom of the mountain and sign off there. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. I certainly have, it's been really excellent. It's a really cool, really cool hike. Okay, see you in a bit. Hi there, thought I would just sign off. We've just come down now from the, uh, the Coombe and uh, I'm not far away now from where the car is parked. So uh, it's been really, really enjoyable. I would recommend anybody to come. If you're in the area for the Yog or you're doing a, a blue hike or something over the Maldwins in Snowdonia, then uh, this little hidden valley with its industrial heritage and the abandoned village is well well worth well worth a couple of hours hike it really is so uh, hope you've enjoyed it and our little explore and uh, I'll see you for another climb or hike very soon so uh, big thanks for Sky for joining me again for today's hike keep me company and uh, see you later take care